<laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah, look at that. They had the list of all this. Ah, neat. And with this in 2010. I forgot Lazy Collectors of Dick and Skipsy intro videos unless you sit and wait for them. So here it is now. Sorry for getting this. My mom! There you are. Are you okay? No! I don't think so. I don't know. I think I have a fever. Robots don't get sick, you dumb bitch. Oh, no, Ro! Wait, what the fuck? I didn't make you this way. I think Ro has come down with Robuenza. How oh, do you know what that me. is? How do you know? How should you even know what that is? From what I can tell, the virus only affects robots. Well... It's perfectly fine. It sucks for the rest of you. <laughs> yeah. I would hope... You all need to be careful. So shouldn't we all be, like, freaking quarantining her, then? We should be. But why not? However, because of this... 20XX. Who knows what year that could be at this point. A new robot illness, Rowanza, has begun to spread rapidly around... The world, the city, whatever the fuck. The world, ah. the robots are not functioning. Oh yeah. Only as a city, it'd be kind of underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Only the city is getting corrupt. Then it could go to the rest of the world. Many humans find it impossible to even complete, complete even simple task without... Oh god, it's like a social commentary on our own reliance on technology. And without robot assistance, no one can... Just get to the point already! Develop a proper cure. Because humans are incompetent fucks. But one man is willing to help make that cure. A month following the outbreak, the situation worsens. Everybody is dying due to Robuenza, or at least the robots are. And well. Why the robots start violent and attempt to take over the world? Yeah! What a sad day. They That's... also kill humans, apparently. Help! Huh? What? Why would he? You can catch his capsule? Jeez! Spoil! Help! One of those infected robots went crazy! And attacked me! After I made him too, that son of a bitch! I spent the last few days studying this Roboenza! I mean, making it. Anyway! Check it out! But even my genius wasn't able to find a cure, even though I just made one. Just had him lying around, so I built a machine that would help me discover the key! To developing a cure! But it was stolen by one of those damn cursed, lovely, demented robots! Probably Bass. I beg you! You have to help me get my medicine making machine back! Would you fucking call me, you old fuck? Uh. I suppose we want to stop those robots. We'll have to kill you. I mean, the no. pro man in the back are like, are you guys fucking kidding me? Leave it to me! Mega Man, Mega Man, really? I'll stop those robots. Mega Man! Fucking, come on, man! I'll fight her for a while, here's medicine making machine, then we can cure her. Where the hell would that thing be anyway? Roll with all the other robots. Yeah, good luck with that. So, there was another mission. Are you a fucking idiot? Are you kidding me? Don't do this. Brother man! Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to do this alone. I have to stop you from being fucking stupid again. <laughs> Like last time! I wish you any help, brother man. I bet you would. You know, goddamn time you find yourself some help. Let's do this! I'll just stop you making another stupid mistake like last time. And letting him get away, you fucking moron. And uh, there we go! And that was the intro. Yep. So we chose for the bonus episode! Fuck. <laughs> oh well. Well, let's get on this and go to the challenge thing or whatever. You can't do it from here. You gotta go to quit. Oh, it's all the way to the bottom. Keep going. Yeah, there's one more at the bottom. So yeah, for welcome to the bonus episode. We're gonna show off the rest of the DLC this time. We're gonna have challenges. Oh, yeah, there's a music player too to go over music in the game. Proud of that. But yep, just like with Mega Man 9, you go to Time Attack and go to all the stages in the game. Which you only have one attempt in. There are three special stages. Which, uh, yep. Oh yeah, you can also watch a replay to show how I did it. If you feel like going that route, but yep, this is you playing. So yep, there are three special stages in this game, not just one. And where the special stage for Mega Man 9 felt like it was a somewhat plot important, because of dealing with the uh, one who arrested uh, this one's White. just bonus. Yep, these ones are just extra. And well, these are the ones that unlock the extra weapons that you get. So you can use in the main game, at least in Mega Man. Oh yeah, you can also only do these stages with Mega Man. I think you do a rush jet though. 
and Rush Coral. At least Rush Coral. If I remember, I think these stages actually... Fog. I think these stages might actually... I think they're supposed to be based off of uh, other stages from the Game Boy Mega Man games, if I'm not mistaken. This is gonna be painful. Yeah, if you don't want to do the- I will say, it's, the first one is probably the hardest one. So if you want to skip this one, go on to like two or three. I'm going to blame it. Because the other two are definitely easier than this one. The first stage is really hard. Oh yeah, that guy jumps when you do. Unless he's shooting. He's a dick. But yep, you only go through these as Mega Man, you unlock weapons for being in each one. That will stick with every file you have in the main game, even the files you've already done. Which is nice. It's a big stick with you unless you have to start a new file. But yeah, the spear blocks in the stage are dickish too. Let me guess. Is my rush yet not gonna be enough for that? It I don't think it's too long. The rush yet might is be there more than bad. one. I don't think there's another section like that one. The are disappearing blocks, they don't have you going over spikes that fast. At least my memory serves me right. If I remember, I think the music is supposed to be... Like, I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be based off of, ga of stages from the uh, Game Boy and Mega Man games. Music included as well, I think. I only knew that from looking it up. Oh, fuck! But I, I'm glad they de I am definitely glad they included these special stages. Oh god. Oh god! I forgot, that's how that ended. You gotta get up there and get on top of those to get through. So you're gonna use rough jet, you gotta get high. So yeah, one of the special stages. Some of them are pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this stage is a dick. Man, I don't think I expected anything less. Screw you, get out of my way. Hey, go ahead, Garmy! What the hell? I wanted to kill you so bad! Haha! <laughs> wait. You don't get. Thanks. I got past you. Thanks for coming back so I can actually kill you. Yeah, this this spirit block section is a bit of a dick, especially that shit. I hate that part. I I just had to do this. Yard disappear blocks. If you're in them when they appear, they push you out to one of the sides. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna work your best till you eventually beat them. Yeah. I say there is always my replays, and then it's just like showing my runs. They only say the replay if you actually beat the stage. I think they say whatever the best time is. Then again, I think I only completed every single special stage once, because, well, I don't care for my own personal time trials. Personal time isn't really a problem for me. Yeah. As long as I can beat it, I don't really care. You just gotta remember how they work. If you see the blow, it means the problem will wait a little bit. Although... Jump! Jump again! Jump across! Oh, so close. Okay, I think I understand how to do this, thankfully. Well, I understand how to do it. Yeah. I'm just mostly gonna die. Don't worry, you're not even halfway to the stage yet. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be as bad as Mega Man Nine Hearts fighting multiple bosses for the bosses. I don't think they have that. One of the stages might have more than many bosses. Like maybe. It's not like a major boss in the stage, right? No. They don't go that Well, crazy. there is at the very end. But you mean like two bosses at once? No, 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 no. Or is it like we have to fight the friggin' shark alongside that? Oh. Pop? God, the freaking. The fucking bonus stage of Mega Man 9 was brutal. I don't think any of these are as bad as that, although. Oh! You gotta, you gotta jump that block and jump up quickly again. Okay, so jump up twice and then afterwards is the, uh... Yep, get on the block, jump up, jump up again, and then you jump across. 
that these are these might I think honestly this stage might be harder than any other main stages in the game. <laughs> I found this stage really freaking hard. Was it Doki Doki Blast that killed you? That and I think some gaps later. I think some gaps later in the stage that basically if you messed up you would fall into the gap spikes as well. So, yeah. These stages have a lot of difficult crap about them. Oh! Hate everything! <laughs> Alright, you always go to another special stage. This one's. Yeah, you probably, like I said, this is probably the hardest one of them. Might as well do them in order. Fair enough. Because I know I did try to do them in order. I eventually gave them one, went to two, which was a lot easier. And then three was. somewhat difficult, but not like the first one. Don't ignore me! I'll say, for those of you looking for them, uh, what order to do the special stage, I would recommend doing the second one first, because I think it's personally the easiest. And that one actually has an E-Tank for you! Oh yeah, by the way, spoiler warning, this stage doesn't have an E-Tank for you. So look forward to that. Jump! Jump! Okay, wait. There you go. Jump! Jump again! Got the drop! Yep. I say it's not it's too small for you to fit into. Unless I'm playing as Proto Man, but I can't do that. Nope. Special stage, you can only be Mega Man. You fucking do. I mean of course. That's what I really wanted you to do. Because dicks. Like I said, this game has made me kinda of consider one of the look at the Game Boy Mega Man's, or at least Mega Man 5. So I'm very curious about them. My understanding, the first two were crap. Yeah. The third one was better. The ones that followed the style of the first four games, the fourth one was actually pretty good. And the fifth one decided to be something completely original. And apparently was actually really good. Dario! I don't have the time, man! I don't have the time! You! God damn, just a very fuck you! Frick! Bombs. I hate them. I know. Doki Doki Vlogs, man. I know, they're the worst. And if you must love them, keep bringing them back. Yes, he creates for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. They do like him as well. I think it's more of Fune. What happened to him in his life where disappearing blocks had to be a major thing? Where did the disappearing blocks become an existence? They come and go like my parents did. Whoa! That's depressing. Jump! 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 Uh, fuck! God damn these fucking blocks! <laughs> and remember, you want to get on that block and then jump quickly. I'm trying to wait, I'm trying to use a sound cue, but it's so. Yeah. Sometimes the sound isn't there every once in a while. They're like, boop! Boop! It's like, oh! Stop ignoring me! Why would you kill me? Do you want to die that badly? I was thinking about it! That's your problem, am I? Oh! Why'd you kill everybody? Not everybody. I haven't killed Light or Wily yet, have I? I've tried to kill Proto Man, but, well. Back. Nice. Okay. I would have said just stay on the platform and then jump before it blew up. Just go back to the disappearing blocks is possibly harder. Yeah, this special saves a treat. God damn. I tell me the boss is gonna be that hard compared to this. The hardest of the bosses of the three special stages. And the hardest stage to boot. Yeah. Like I said, that's why I recommend this one last. You go after the second one, you go in the order. Oh, which by the way, the three special stages also have a boss order for them. In case you're curious. Well, more like they all they're all weaknesses to each other, the more I mean. Jump! 
Okay. So here you're figuring out the best way to deal with the fogs. A little early. Our bomb platform is fun. That's not the bomb problem I hate, it's the freaking disappearing blocks. blocks. Yep. I can deal with them. Yeah, deal with the bombs. Oh man. Good old classic Mega Man tropes. Never change. <laughs> Everybody loved them so much, that's why they're their best in the first two Mega Man games. You know, they didn't really they did really calm down a little lot after Mega Man 2. Yeah. Well the two's was bullshit because. Yeah, two was... had some bullshit sections. One in particular for the Heat Man stage. There's only a couple moments in uh, Mega Man 1. Yeah. Also fuck. Yeah. God, these blocks are a pain in the dick. Can you, like, jump high enough to get away from the blast? Yeah. That's why I was just saying, just stay on the bomb platform and jump up before it blows up. As long as you jump when you see it flash, it'll probably dodge the explosion. You did that the first time in the first of the two bombs at the end. Okay, dick. Fuck you. And fuck your face. Fuck your family. Fuck your family. That's not how it works. Oh, thanks. I guess that was disturbing. <laughs> I'll fuck your family. Whoa, dude! You asked for it. No, I didn't! You did now. I'm confused! You, you, you want to jump, like, as it's flashing? As it's flashing. Yeah. There you go. Yay! Now I'm gonna die from it. There's some energy if you need it. By the way, timer runs up when you pause, but eh. It's really only for the true fucking speedrunners for these. Oh yeah, there's spikes! Wow. Like I said, this stage is a dick. There's a lot of spikes here. The other stages, at least, it's pits. This game, this stage, it's spikes. And a lot of them. I think this is based off of Mega Man 1 Game Boy stage. With field in light, so... You can probably imagine why it's some bullshit. Gee, yeah, I wonder what... And the screen was small, and I do think they did try to make the game a little too hard with Game Boy 1. It sounds like as they move forward that they bounce it a lot better. Maybe that's why the other ones are better? Yeah. yeah. I'll have to find out. I just I just remember hearing apparently the first two were rough. I know people did not like the first two Game Boy Mega Man games. That makes me wonder would be the one. I wouldn't think so. So I remember the one page I look at it has some faulty opinions of the games, like rating X7 the same as X2, X3, and X5, but also having freaking X6 below all of them. For major reasons, for some reason. Swap it get bigger belts! Gee, I wonder if that's going to mean anything. Did they give you a warning? Because this shit! Like I said, there are some stages that are bullshit or some of this. Gee, what the hell are you spazzing out for? I saw you were coming down! I was so excited! I was excited to see you! I was so happy I wanted to kill you myself! And those fuckers. And more spike pits. Like I said, there's a lot of spike pits. Good job. More metals. Fuckers. I I think there might be a little bit of energy recovery coming up. Oh, that's after this set of rooms. Right. Uh, Tight Corridor Man! No! I haven't even been using my weapon energy. That's pointless. But also, I don't think you have the energy balancer. Yay! Fuck you both! Don't forget rapid fire! If you're gonna go right in their face and try to gun them before... Oh yeah, you have those weapons. It only works to deflect bullets. It's the Mirror Buster for a reason. Which funny thing. Guess who you're fighting. The Bastion uses this? Yes! Fuck you. 
I said, if you guys saw our Mega Man and Bass playthrough and saw the bonus episode of us going over the Damn Bass stuff, you would recognize the boss at the end of these special stages. Probably. Yeah, energy here. I get a bad feeling now. about... Yeah, that too. <laughs> You're not knowing about the bad feeling. Conveyor belts and fire! Balls. Yeah, this, this is a fun one. More energy than you were probably gonna need. Careful here! You need Rush Coil to get across that or Rush Jet. I'll warn you that now. That's gotten me numerous times. Just make sure you. Yeah. <laughs> See, Mirror Rush is pretty useful. Yeah. Do not try to jump over that normally. I'll tell you that now. It won't work. You won't be far enough. I learned that the hard way. By the way, I think it's where there are a lot of drills. Oh. You're almost near the end, though. I think once you get to the end of this corridor, you're going to be heading to the boss room. Well, that's very Well, if you need health, if you need health and all that, get all these. Which, by the way, the only thing you can't get in these special stages are lives. For obvious reasons. We want you to do it one try. I wonder if it, I wonder if it can keep your time compiling up and just put you at a checkpoint and take it on life. Or they just keep your time adding on and throw you back at the beginning of the stage. Fucking dick. <laughs> that probably wouldn't do. Ow. Could you stop hitting me? Yeah, oh, yes, I'm not leaving. I want to be full health because I can. Yeah, understandable. You go far enough, they'll stop coming. So just keep walking back to you and keep going. You want to be a bit in the last room. That's when they start disappearing. Drop health! Drop health! Ooh! Give me one. I fucking hate you. Alright, we're good! There you go. Time to battle this boss. His weakness is a third of the special weapons. So, reintroduction to Anchor! The Mega Man Killer from Mega Man 1 Game Boy. Oh boy. Careful, he'll absorb your shots and fire them back at you. You need to get him when he's hopping around. You also do that dash shit. You have to get him either when he's jumping or when he's just landed. Just remember, you don't have E tanks. So keep that in mind. Yeah, he absorbs your shot. That's the point of the mirror bus. So keep that in mind. Right. And he even sucks in your shots. That's how you know. Fuck you! Well, yeah, the third of your weapons, the bombs. The, uh, the little purple bomb things is his weakness. Just remember, you died him, you have to do the whole stage again. Yeah, thanks for the motivation. I'm just saying, man! <laughs> well, yeah, it just doesn't... Oh, it does hurt him! It just, yeah, it just... He absorbs it he for absorbs stronger it. attacks. Okay. I thought... I didn't think it hurt him, but it does. Yeah. Took you a little under six minutes. But you beat it! Nice! What I thought was the hardest one, so hopefully the other two will go more easily. They are a little longer, though, I think. This one, I think, is based off the Mega Man 3 Game Boy 1. Of course, they use assets from Mega Man 10, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I said, some of this is the music from the Game Boy games. I gotta say, it's not bad. Then again, I don't know too many... I can't really think of too many Game Boy games I really think of, like, their music standing out. Yeah. Not really many at all, actually. The most thing I can think of is freaking Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, Pokemon like At least from the standard Game Boy era. So I can't think of, like... There weren't, like, too many RPGs with Game Boys and all that. Then again, it makes sense with what kind of power you're dealing with. Yeah. Not much. Oh boy, here's some fun. Are there enemies over these pits, I'm guessing? Uh, I think there might be some later. There's your E-Tank little level. You just get rid of those bombs, or get rid of that top one so you can make your way to that one over there. So yep, now you can more easily legitimately go through this stage. I do think this is the easiest one of the special stages. Still hard on the silly, right? Yeah. I mean, when the first special say I feel like it was harder than anything else. This section, that jump's a bit of a dick. I don't think there's another jump like that. I don't think. 
This one's not as bad, this jump, but... So, yep, you gotta jump just as you get there. It's... it's or I can just... yeah. Or you can try to rush your way through that whole corridor as long as you're able to kill the enemies Or at least go. one of the corridors, because that last part does seem kind of... ...it-ish. Yeah. You need to be very careful. Definitely. Your other option could be to like plant rush jet when you're all on the one end, and then go back to the other end of the seesaw, jump back the other end of its height, and then jump on rush coil. Bitch, I have ladders. What can yeah. you do? You can't hit me. I can hit you if I try. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let you hit me. We were hoping. <laughs> I wish I had the base right here to see tall. Yeah. Your hope is dead. Oh god! Alright, I have to jump off. Woo! Hey! Kill you right where you stood. Yes, that's the one. Here we go again. Can you move out of the way, sir? Oh yeah, you do have all your special weapons. I forgot about that. You do have all your weapons from the main game in this. I forgot about that. So, you know, that makes things easier for you. Alright. We'll try to rush jet it. Or not yet. Not yet. Oh, once you get to one of the ends of one of these. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to make it. Yeah. Alright, you run to the ends of the first platform as you jump to the second one. And maybe that would help your jump a bit. Yeah, maybe it's because I thought it would be dropping. Maybe you jump from the center of this. And you did that. There you go. Thank you. You only press for time when you land on the second platform. You can use Rush Jet here if you. Oh, right, I keep forgetting about that! <laughs> or, you know. I always forget about that because I never did that. Like, just remember your Rush Jet? We'll cut her up. I'm like. Yeah, there's another way to do this. Vertical rush jet, bitch. Hey, I'm gonna just, uh, do one thing. What?! <laughs> oh yeah, that's a dick move. Yeah, don't climb the ladder immediately, I forgot about that. Such assholes. Like, seriously. Oh yeah, they might have the crushers in this one. Oh, they do these, though. Oh no. Oh. There's no win though, so just wait for one to go by and then try to jump past it or kill it. Not one there. The next one there is one though. God damn you guys, your parachutes! Not one here. One here as you have to kill that guy. Because that's nice. One oh, yes. One yeah. the one by the ladder. They yeah. would! <laughs> yeah. I still feel like the game design's a little less cool in this game than Mega Man 9, but there's still some moments that are like, fuck you! You talk about with the bonus stage as a whole, or...? Just overall the game. Yep, there are crushers here. A little bit more dickish than in the fortress. Because two is one. Oh god, da 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 I think they all go down at the same time, though, so that's your note. And they do go a little faster. Well, I guess they come down a bit of time after they show up on the screen. I keep thinking they're gonna go down as groups and one of them won't go down all the way. Yeah. You're thinking of like Mega Man 4. Or was 4 with that? Maybe. I'm trying to think, was it 4 with that? Maybe. Yeah, don't try to do the worst of it. Yeah, I think we're near the end now. Okay. There's not too much more dickish. There's not too much dickish that's left. Oh, you want to play Rush? What the hell? I believe this boss kind of has a gimmick to him, too, that makes it a little hard to hit him, if I'm not mistaken. And I have an E-Tank, fortunately, so... Yeah. This boss is still a little tough. I think the third one's the easiest, honestly. Here. That's his weakness, by the way. Although, it means you have to shoot his shots back at him. Which can be irritating. I have an E-Tank, so we'll be fine. Hopefully. Next, we have... This one! I forget his name off the top of my head. Is it good? Is it Uranus? No. No, it's not one of the planet ones. That's only it's not the planetary. It's only five. I know. He'll do the Sonic thing where he's invincible while he rolls around. 
And see, he does a lot of damage, too. He deflect those balls back at him. Yeah, and he'll come moving in at different levels. Please just make sure. If he's at his highest point, you don't want to jump. So yeah, this one's freaking... Let's see, what's this one's name? Also known as Rockman Killers. Gee, I'm wondering. Oh, this one's name's Punk. Yeah. Ugh, he's fast. He's a tough one, too. 